overall result, I definitely can't be mad about, you know, to hold position and to, to play a clean round out there. I didn't really make any physical errors, but I just made a few mental errors. Yesterday, I think I had like three OB strokes. So today I tried to avoid OBs and just if I don't get a birdie, I just stick with the par and, and it worked. I didn't think I could get on the lead card at an event at this level, so it means a lot. I really concentrated on playing my own game because I know I don't have the distance that the girls have that I'm playing with. So, I mean, inevitably you, you compare to other people and I really tried not to do that today and I think that helped me. The women in the sport are really incredible and it's super inspiring to play with these people. I still feel like a little kid next to Paige and Juliana. It will be super, super exciting to see how they attack the course and what's their game plan. Just being surrounded by all this talent makes me feel very humble. I like both courses. Uh, they both have the similar challenges with distance and around the big mature trees and try to replicate what I did today. We'll see if that's possible. I kind of have, you know, plan A and a plan B as far as like my, my shot selection goes. So I'm just hoping to stay engaged and hopefully make some good choices out there. My approach will be the same. Just try to pick the safest uh, shot out there that suits my game the best. And hopefully I can make the putts again because I think that's the biggest like difference. Hello and welcome to the 2023 Portland Open. It's the front nine of round three FPO lead card. This tournament is presented by Latitude 64. It's the seventh stop on the Disc Golf Pro Tour. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. I'm Rebecca Cox. We're going with Coxcomb commentary. I don't know if Juliana tugged at your heartstrings as much as she, she got just me. got us. Yeah. She got me a little um, bit. So excited to see her play today. It's beautiful conditions. We're playing Glendover East, which is generally the preferred course out here. Uh, Glendavere, I guess, if you want to say it correctly. Another 9,000 plus foot course, number two ranked course behind Maple Hill. Oh, that's crazy. Second longest MPO course and definitely one of the longest FPO. Musket birdie is hole 13, um, which averaged a third under par in 2022. This is almost an identical course. There's I think two changes with some mandatories out there, but largely you're going to see the same course we saw all last year. Chris Natar, one word, flawless. Look at her. That's it, that's all I got. <laughs> She's dropping the putts. She is in control, in the lead. Sayananda, not one to back down. I mean, Kristen has a pretty solid lead, but she just keeps pushing forward, fighting with 91% fairway hits, 50% scramble, and 64% C2 in regulation. And the woman of the hour, Juliana Corver. So great to see her out here shooting well, believing in herself like we all do. Uh, can't wait to see her shred this course today, stay on the fairway, make some good putts. Next we have Ella Hansen. 47% C1 in regulation and 67% C2 in regulation. So she's throwing it down that fairway. Hole one has to be one of the hardest holes on the course. You're throwing a turnover, a uh, shot over an OB green and then a hazard bunker. There's an OB line on the left hand side. It gets very pinched in this middle side with trees on the right that you can, you know, kind of shoot the gap or you can flirt with the OB line on the left. Uh, elevated basket perched on a hillside. So deadly, so nervy. It was w a little windy today comparable to yesterday. For me, when I came through, it was a bit of a headwind, maybe right to left. Yeah, I think it was about headwind left to right for me. Okay, yeah. So change definitely throughout the round. Uh, forehand is such a weapon here to have that power forehand. Mm -hmm. It's definitely the safest shot shape if you have it. And Kristen has it. It's a prime landing zone. Really cool to see Sai get on the lead card yesterday and then just maintain and, and stay yeah. and stay. Yeah. In second place. Looking Sit really down. clean. It almost pushes it too far forward, but you're in bounds off the drive. Oh, totally you're fine. happy for yeah. bounds. And I, I consider it kind of a bonus birdie too. That second shot's oh, crazy. Definitely. Juliana with the high turnover shot. Beautiful. Yeah. 
it'll be interesting to see if Ella throws um, as many forehands as Kristen Tatar. She definitely has both, but she also just loves taking to the skies with these slower speed discs. That's a mid-range, yeah? It looks like it, yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised she didn't throw a driver here. That's an MD1. Ella going to go forehand, flirt with that left-hand side OB line. Really well executed shot. As long as it doesn't roll too plump, much, it'll be fine. Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, the right side's a little more open than the left, for sure. Sai, master of the turnover game, doesn't really have the sidearm that Kristen and Ella have. Sim similar story with Juliana. Oh my goodness. My she has such goodness, indeed. effortless power with her understable discs. Very controlled. So, pretty. Kristen pushing up in the circle, too. I thought she had it all the way there. Yeah, I thought it would get up there. On a rope, though. And Juliana says she doesn't have as much distance as these other ladies. Look at her. Furthest off the tee. Throwing a really nice approach shot into circle one. Sit. Yeah, I mean, Juliana knows her bag so well. I mean, those discs have probably been in her bag forever. Yeah. I would love to know how old her oldest disc yeah. is. Make a guess in the comments and we'll ask her. With a little pitch up, that kind of rolls down that hill. Yeah, it's so difficult to lay this one up safely. You kind of have to lay up short and flat. But not too short. Yeah. Kristen being smart. Boring, smart golf. But honestly, the par on hole one, take it. Yeah. Juliana following suit. Do you know, if, do you have the stats up? Do you know if this is the hardest hole? Sorry to put you on the spot. Oh, yeah. Ella kind of airballing that one left. It is, in fact, the first most difficult hole. Yeah, I figured. Just having a birdie look, like Sai. Oh, nice putt. Sai and That's um, incredible. Ella had one. Like It's uh, it's amazing. What a start for Sai. Death putt, birdie, taking the pad from the leader. Ella cleaning up her bogey. Unfortunate, but... If you get away with a single bogey on hole one, you're not beating yourself up too much about it, generally. And Sai is one of three birdies for the day. The other two are Katrina Allen and Jessica Weiss. Amazing start. Sai sitting five back of Katrina, two ahead of Juliana. Let's see, so far best score looks like Emily Beach at two down for the moment. Hole two, 315 feet, par three, downhill. That big tree that we just passed in the fairway is really the only thing that's getting in the way here. It's a forehand shot or a backhand turnover shot. Depends on what you're more comfortable with, but you don't want to push it too far forward because that OB line long snakes up on you quick. Yeah, you definitely see, I think, more forehands on this one. The backhand, you can find that backside OB very quickly if you don't have the angle right. Yeah, Sight overcuts it a little bit, maybe not giving it enough height, but she's in the fairway. Yeah, inbounds fairway, that's fine. We're going to see a lot more shorter par threes out here, you know, somewhere in the 270 to 320 foot range, which is very different than the, the west course. Oh, so pretty. Kristen with her orbit ride gets to circle one. Juliana trying the backhand with her star TL3. Oh, that was amazing. I think right line, but she put in parentheses. I should have thrown my Roadrunner. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Yeah, it just faded out. Yeah. It, great angle. Great angle. She'll be nearly pin high, maybe even in circle two. With the sidearm. Oh, I couldn't tell. I thought, I thought she was going second, inside Yeah, gap. I like inside gap. I like it too, but you really gotta. It's skinny. You gotta want it, yeah. I love with her C line FD3 in the circle. Yeah, you'll see a lot of the shots trickle about here. Circle two, circle one, maybe the edge. 
Yeah, it looked a little high out of size hand. I think the wind was pushing a little right to left when I was at this basket. Mm -hmm. um, and the wind stayed pretty consistent throughout the day, so probably just rose out of her hand. Kristen with a tester for her birdie. A plus. And a great bounce back from Ella. Inside with the car. Juliana probably going to throw that Roadrunner tomorrow. <laughs> Paige Pierce moving up into a tie for third with Juliana, Missy Gannon, in a tie for fifth there. Hole three, super reachable par three, 285 feet. A lot of small gaps. You'll see people trying to lace the center gap. More often, we're gonna take the flight of the drone path where you kind of turn one to the right and then try to fade just a bit at the end. Uh, a lot of fairway drivers, I think, is the most common. Uh, there is some, there's a mandatory that doesn't really come into play. Um, there is some OB on the left, but you really have to skip it over there to find it. Forehand's one I haven't seen. But there's definitely the gap for it. Oh. Just off by a little bit, but I think I saw what she was going for there. Mm -hmm. This one, the gaps are too big to call it a poke and hope, but it's just... <laughs> you almost feel like, yeah, I'm just kind of ripping it towards those trees and trying to get yeah. through. Just a little. And it says 285, but it's, oh my goodness, what an incredible shot. Beautiful. Wow. It's like that same C-line FD3 uh, she threw in the last hole. But it's, it's just so far uphill, it requires at least, you know, 300 feet worth of power. Yeah, easily. Sai so going a turnover line. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Behind that tree, yeah. I like this. If it finishes, that's perfect. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Star turn from Juliana yeah. in the bullseye. They keep it just high enough and just low enough. <laughs> the sweet spot. Kristen with her harp forehand gets away from her slightly. She's not yeah. in the bullseye. <laughs> kind of surprised that. She threw the forehand there, but I think she that's just her comfortable up shot. She constantly does that. Yeah. Where most people would throw the backhand, she just knows that forehand, like the back of her hand. I believe it's a BT, I think it's a BT mm. hard harp. She's just so accurate with it. Sorry, giving it a little run. Kristen patting those circle one stats. Nice birdie. Nice. A great bounce back from Juliana. Are you ever like happy when you're like just a couple inches outside the bullseye? You know? <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah. Really get that C1X stat up. I'm liking the slow-mo fist bump cam in between mm. holes. I could watch a weird <laughs> amount of that kind of footage. Hole four, 320 feet, par three, a little bit uphill. The basket's right there in front of you. You can see it. There's not really a lot of danger on this hole unless, unless you let it get away from you. There's a sand trap on the right, a little shorter of the basket, and there's an OB line that kind of wraps around the entire hole. But like I said, the fairway's pretty open here. 
The only thing really in the way is what I like to call the fat bottom tree right in front of it. Oh, yes. It really makes the rock and roll go round, though. <laughs> I love the right side gap Ella's taking here. Yeah, solid shot. Just outside the circle. Looks like, it looks like another slower speed disc, maybe. Oh, same FT3. Oh, such a pretty line from Juliana. It is fading just before the fat bottom tree. But it passes it. She'll have a look at birdie from there. You really just don't want to be right behind one of these big fat trees. Kristen with an Orbit Saint Pro laser beam. Leaves it just a bit short, similar to Ella. I should have a long C2 look. That's right within her comfortable range, I think. Yeah, so far this <laughs> weekend, definitely. Yeah. It's listening. It's getting there. Oh, I don't quite have size discless, but that looked like her vandal, I would guess. Kristen up first. Basket framed up. Oh, Dang. Yeah. She just can't miss, can she? Let's see it in slow motion. Seems like her legs are a little closer together, maybe, because that's has something to do with the tree or because she had to do a hyzer, but I mean, it just makes it look so comfortable no matter she does. where she is. Ella, one step outside the circle. She usually goes for a little step putt. Nice. nice. <laughs> oh, back to back, Slomez. Yes, please. Good get from Ella. We haven't seen her land too many of those step putts, and that one just was perfect. Okay. Okay, ladies. There we go. Juliana with back to back birdies. Yeah, it feels good actually taking that bogey, I'm sure. A little high. Putting into a headwind, so I'll probably just cut that wind a little bit. Man, off by just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's tough when you have to watch the rest of your card take birdies, too. All right, our lead card all under par now for the round. Emily Beach having a good round so far, four down through seven. Katrina Allen, Jessica Weiss, both three down through seven. Hole five, such a fun tee shot. Super downhill. Uh, you just want to go as far as you can, landing short of the sand traps here that play as hazard. Second shot, most likely going to lay up short of the water and this out-of-bounds green up here and then go across on your third. It is feasible to get there for an eagle look uh, if you get far enough down the hill, but it is risky. I would say if you're just shy of the bunkers, it's probably, what, at like at 350 or so still to the pin, somewhere in that range. Yeah, ish. But a tricky, tricky 350. You could, this is one of those holes where you just want to throw your whole bag. Yeah. Now, these ladies have a little danger going too far, like right, right here. Yeah. But that's great. And I mean, that is about great. Eagle if she wants. That was two feet for me, not so yeah. great. AKA. But these, they just have perfect. so much power. <laughs> like, I don't know many people who would think, oh man, I better not launch oh, into those sand traps super long. Yeah. 500 feet. That was an S line DD3 from Ella. This is a. Halo turn from Juliana. Beautiful. Okay, and that's more easily like, get down to the bottom of yeah. the hill. I would say that's the more typical landing mm -hmm. zone. For sure. For us normies. Orbit Grace from Kristen taking that kind of low right side, similar to Juliana. And wow, great yeah. shot. I thought she put that low. That kind of matches the angle of the hillside. Mm -hmm. Sigh on a bit more of a hyzer line, getting great distance, and that's solid. Yeah, if you can get far enough down there, you can definitely have a look 
or shot over the water. Yeah, it's risky, but... And that's got to be maybe closer to 400 across the water from here. Maybe more. As long as that doesn't go too far right. Yeah, she's fine. I like that play. Um, not really dealing with that OB green. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't really matter if it's short as long as you're by kind of that group of trees on the right side. Because mm -hmm. even if you're right behind it, it's just like 200 feet to the basket. Yeah, Juliana going for a skinnier landing zone in between the bunkers and the green and stays safe. Great shot. Tristan with a forehand layup. Kind of needs to sit down. Yeah, flirting Oof. with that cart path. But fine. Yeah. <sighs> Probably the biggest mistake we'll see from her all day. <laughs> what do you think? Ella thinking about it? Oh, yeah. That's a, that's a full-on driver yeah. she's holding right now. The new Dismania full-on driver. She's so close. Oh, yeah. my gosh. I know. Isn't that crazy? I was just in front of that bunker on my second shot, and uh, I ranged it at 3.30, so she's probably... Oh, that needs to get stable. Yeah, so flippy. Dang it. Man, if that had just been a little bit more stable and just... Or she just threw it flatter. Yeah. One or the other, but that was close to being really, really good. Still save the park from there, though. Yeah, but with all, all these ladies close for birdie, it's definitely a little disappointing. Yeah, this is a little bit of a must-get birdie. Mm -hmm. And that right there is why you see Juliana Corver on the lead card. I mean, she's so precise with her discs. Kristen with that forehand, probably harp up shot just outside the bullseye. Getting a good wind read here with size skirt. <laughs> I feel like that was a little bit of a run. Yeah, safe it was, run. It was saucy. Ella throwing four. Oh. Yeah, I thought she was going for it. I think she was thinking about it. Yeah, it might have been the last second. I've had those. Go for it. <laughs> uh, never mind. Your body doesn't actually let you. Yeah. A couple easy tap in birdies. Hello with the lone par. Yeah. Shout out to Cat Merch for eagling. Oh, heck yes, Cat. Whole... Oh my gosh. More slow mo fist bumps. bumps. Yes. I kind of want to do one here slowly. Everyone visualize that. <laughs> Oop, hole six, 290 feet, par three. I'm not sure where the drone is going, to be honest <laughs> with you, because I don't think that's a line anybody's trying to take. Um, you'll probably see either a backhand turnover shot or a forehand uh, flat to hyzer shot. The basket is super reachable and Honestly, if you're short, you can just pitch it up for your par, but this is one that you want to get close. Have you seen this line that Juliana's doing? I have seen it. I saw someone do it, and I almost did it. And I was like, man, I didn't practice. But it's yeah. it's tight, but wide open mm -hmm. as soon as you hit the initial gap. Yeah, it's just that tree right next to the tea pad right that there. The, yeah. yeah, the angly one. <laughs> Kristen taking the forehand. Yeah, the wider forehand. And then um, it's skipping. So oh, good. beautiful. What was it? Tournament Fortress. Oh, is I taking the Heiser too? What looks like it. It's definitely oh, yeah. the most open backhand gap. Solid shot, I think. Circle two land. Gee, I wonder what this disc is. Ella seems to like that C-Line FD3 a whole lot, and for good reason. Do you know what speed that is? Mm. FD, it's got to be like a 7 to 9, right? It, it Definitely in that realm, yep. Wow. Yeah. The detective skills are so good. Really good. <laughs> Juliana just pitching it up. She's playing the slow game. She's not trying to force anything. It's working for her. Yeah, letting the birdies come naturally. 
side is laying up as well. Elifer, another birdie. Oh yeah. Yeah, a couple birdies, a couple pars. Pretty typical of this hole. Yeah, anything under that 300 foot mark here, just like licking your chops. Gotta get it. Yeah, it did play as the second easiest. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Whoever made this decision, I applaud you. Is the new up to ice orbit. Look at this very nice thing. King <laughs> Hole seven's an uphill par four, 450 feet. There's a mandatory on the left and then another one on the right. Low ceiling as well. So you want to get out of the gap and get really about up to that uh, second mandatory on the right, kind of that level, to have more of a look at the basket. If you're lower on the hillside, it's a blind approach and it can be kind of tough to navigate. It is pretty wide open. Like there are some mature trees there, but there's plenty of gaps to get to the pin as long as you progress far enough off the tee shot. Like this. Yeah, you just kind of want to push something fast and understable that'll hold the angle of that hill and just keep pushing forward. Yeah, interesting to throw uphill, but with the low ceiling. Yeah. That's kind of where the like faster speed disc comes into play. You can keep it lower, but it keeps pushing forward because it's just so fast. Totally. Skip up. Really nice shot from Ella. Third cloud breaker. Juliana with a fine shot of her own. Oh, that would be fine. Yeah. Maybe a little close to the main though, but it's just a different angle to the basket. It shouldn't cut off too much. Yeah, I wouldn't call it a worse angle. Yeah. Not worse, just different. Different. It's a challenging upshot with the uphill footing. That looks like a great line, though. Juliana yeah. came to play. I like she threw a driver right there. Yeah, that was a Halo octopus churn. I don't know if that's the stamp or just like a brand new plastic. <laughs> Sai going more of a hyzer line. Yeah, that's lovely. A more direct line to the basket, clearly. Man, getting nice. all the way up to even with that mandatory is really good. Well, the first two throwing drivers and Kristen sticking to that harp. Oh, she's in the circle. Uh huh. Hello, is something slower as well. Look how far she is. Like she can fully she see, can the, see basket. the basket. Amazing. Wow. Luxurious. Very much so. I ran up the hill 50 feet and jumped as high as I could and couldn't see the basket. Yeah, right? I also did that. <laughs> so never mind, I'll just throw. I must jump higher than you though, I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing down the, the gauntlet. Vertical jump challenge, film it later. <laughs> Ella missing her birdie putt. I'm sure she's bummed after that stellar drive. Kristen for four in a row. Yeah, this course is so scoreable today. The winds are a little higher, but this course is definitely more friendly. Very nice, Juliana. Yeah, this is such a fun course to play.
side with the shortest birdie putt. Look at all those people. I know, it was a huge, huge gallery. Kristen, man, eight strokes in the lead over Cy. Juliana won back of Cy. Ella in a tie for fourth with Paige Pierce. Hole eight, 615 feet, par five, no, par four. <laughs> Downhill, a little tight off the tee pad there. Um, you really just want to keep the disc low and try and keep it within the fairway. We have OB lining both sides you get down there and I mean honestly I think this is a very gettable birdie but it's all about the drive it is and they this is one of the probably the biggest changes of the course from last year is they added this mandatory uh, a lot of ladies were taking kind of the right side gap so to the right of the mandatory tree over out of bounds and fading in now they're forcing you down this tunnel great shot from Kristen Probably like burns just a hair earlier than she wants, but at 615, you don't have to get very far to birdie it off the tee. And on this course, uphill, downhill, you're, you're having to deal with those low branches no matter what. Juliana kind of getting caught up in those, but staying in the fairway, I mean, that's it's still going. Oh, no. Mm. Okay, that's good. That's enough. Okay, yeah, that is enough. Okay. Man, take it easy. <laughs> like, I, I hope I don't have to take back everything I just said. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, whoa. I don't know if she meant to throw it that high, but Super she high hit a really flexy. good line with that. Uh-huh. She does catch a few limbs. Whoa, it ends up way on the left side. I haven't really seen it from over there. I've only seen it from the right. Uh, I assume she'll have a line to the basket, though. Ella looked like she had a nice line on it, but catches the last low limbs and drops straight down. Um, there's probably, I mean, probably what, like 315 left, something like that. Maybe even less. It, it plays like less because it's downhill. Oh, dang. Oh, man. Ella behind the one enormous oh, I tree. I hope it's straddleable from back there, because, man, what else can you do? Cry. <laughs> <laughs> Juliana keeping it high. Letting it fade. Oh, oh, my gosh. Yeah, girl. Dang. Kristen getting farther than I thought, to be honest. Uh, wow. Yeah, she got way down there. Uh-huh. Puts it to about 20 feet for another birdie. Um, Rebecca, I don't know if you know, but four in a row, Madison and I have been calling a regional bird, um, since there's no real name for four birdies in a row. So okay. we're going to call it a Townsend Solitaire. Four okay. birdies in a row. Townsend Solitaire. Yep. All right, nice wow. wide straddle from Ella. Looks like she has a line. Hmm. Man, that was really close. Yeah. It's hard, to, it's hard to use your legs when you have to go out that far. Mm -hmm. It looked like she had to throw the hyzer putt, too. She didn't have yeah. a straight line. It looked at like it. it had to mostly be arm just because of how far she had to reach. Ready from Sai. Dang. Sometimes those catch, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, and little right side. She was a good smooth putt. I don't think it'll bring her down at all. No. Juliana with, is that the only birdie on the card? It's I think side birdie. Side birdie too, okay, yeah. Uh, and got seven stroke difference. Juliana really oh, Juliana plain and Cy. Mm -hmm, plain clean. Let's wrap it up. Hole nine, par four, 595 feet. There are two mandatories you need to get through. 
you want to get past all of these trees somewhere around this area. I like the right side a little bit more if you can manage it, then you're not messing with that OB green and the bunkers on the left. And then it's more protected on your upshot. We're playing to the shorter pin here. It, it takes so much power to get a birdie look on this one, um, both the drive and the upshot, which is more of a drive <laughs> for a lot of us, um, is max distance. And the second shot's very uphill. I like oh. this shot from Juliana. I think it's very intentional for her to throw it that far left because it's wide open over there. Is it? Yeah. I've always tried I mean, to besides right. Interesting. It, the left side, you do have to throw, throw over, over the, the green and the yeah. sand trap. But other than that... Oh, they're all going to do it. Yeah. I mean, honestly, on the drive, you want to be either left or right of those trees. Yeah. And if it's easier to throw the Heisner, then... Sure. Yeah. So I get way down there on her shot. Kristen going to take the more... Nope. Well, she kind of split the difference. Yeah. Couldn't tell which line she was going for. I feel like maybe she was trying with the hyzer, but it just stood up a little bit. Ella. Kind of like a, like a slower, less powerful shot. Yeah. Like C-line, line PD. Just yeah. chilling. Oh, whoa, Juliana's so far. I didn't realize that she had not passed the Mando. Yeah, what a crazy little Man. shot. Not really progressing forward, just going sideways. That's going to make the par save a little more difficult, but it looks like, oh, oh, no. So low, just trying to get that extra power. The slight uphill run-up makes it a little tough, too. Kristen, just playing for par. Really nice forehand. Mm -hmm. Annie. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Dang. Still a great shot. Still great. She's going to have a, what is that, just outside just, circle one? Mm -hmm. Maybe slightly obstructed. Dang, I wanted to see that land close. It looked like a perfect line. Size way up there. Mm -hmm. Taking the wide hyzer out. Mm, that's great. Juliana trying to get close just, just to save this bogey. That'll be a bit of a yeah, more than you want. Cut. She's trying to go over those bushes. She must be. Just another interesting time where you would think backhand because the right side's more open. Oh, okay. But um, Kristen Tatar is pretty dang yeah, good, so don't question her choices. Way longer than I thought. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, do what you know is comfortable for your game. It is a little counterintuitive sometimes to watch, though. <laughs> Juliana, trying to save bogey here. Oh, that was a really good bid. It's unfortunate. She's going to have to take a big number on this one. Ella for birdie. I wonder what she had right in front of her. So you can see all that bushy stuff right there. Sigh and like sumo squat almost. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Sigh's straddle putts are really interesting because it, she balances really well on her legs, but I feel like she doesn't use her lower body that much for sure. For yeah. the putting stroke. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Sai gonna come up short as well. I love the tap and par, Juliana with the double bogey. Not great, but the round's not over yet. But the front nine is. <laughs> <laughs> Should we address the Juliana, Juliana <laughs> debacle? Oh, yeah. <laughs> she calls herself Juliana, but will answer to either. And I feel like everyone calls yeah. her something different. So, you know, call her what you want. She'll yeah. answer. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. On the front, so many people under par here. Look at this. People just shredding this course out here. It is crazy how good the women are in our division are now. Yep. I mean, wow. Yeah. Yep. Wow. <laughs> Fun time to be a part of FPO. Oh, check it out. It says Coxcomb Commentary. Oh, I love that. Let's go. Slow motion fizzball. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. Well, join us on the back uh, for round three here at the Portland Open. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. I'm Rebecca Cox. Coxcomb commentary. <laughs> Thanks to the Founders Club.